Father and the Son <coughs> and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Because you are approaching the blessed month of Kiyak, the church is teaching us how to receive the Son of God. So in this month, the month of Atu, the first two weeks, we were sharing the parable of the sower, tell us without knowing the word, as Saint Jerome was teaching us that the ignorance of the scripture is the ignorance of Christ. Then, the last two weeks, especially this week today, is telling us it's not only about knowing the word, it's how to use it for your own salvation. Looking to the story today, the encounter of the rich man with the Lord, the rich man was very sincere. He has a, the most important question in his life and our life, I need to know what I have to do to inherit eternal life. He was wealthy as a story tells us, and he was young, he was gifted, he knows the scriptures, and even he said, I observed all these things since I was young. Unfortunately, he went home with the same wealth, but he lost hundredfold. In the end of the gospel today, he said, if you leave anything for the sake of the Lord, <clears throat> he will give you hundredfold in this life and then eternal life in the life to come. Yes, he came with the most sincere question, but he went home disappointed and sad. And even when the Lord was, was talking to him, he told him, you lack one thing. He didn't tell him, you have a list of hundred things you need to do to inherit it in life. It was one thing, and he lost it for it. So the question for me and for you this morning, what is this one thing that I'm lacking and hindering me from enjoying eternal life from now, not later. So when he told him in verse 21, Jesus looked at him and loved him. One thing you lack, he said, go sell everything you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven, then come follow me. Sometimes we come to the church, even every day or every week or whatever it is, and still I'm lacking this one thing. So I pray that in this liturgy, the Lord will open my eyes and your eyes to see this one thing that I lack and even I am missing the whole way. If you go back to our father Abraham in Genesis chapter 22 and verse two, you will see the reality of what Jesus was explaining to us. So in verse two then he said, take now your son, your only son, <clears throat> Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. One of the church fathers said something very interesting, and I think we need to rethink of it many times during our life. Before having Isaac, the whole heart of Abraham belongs to the Lord. But once he has it, Isaac started to take part of the heart of Abraham, and this was not acceptable. So he's telling us all, my son, give me your heart. It's all your heart. So what happened is, in the next verse, or verse 10, Genesis chapter 22, and Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. He accepted the one thing that was asked to do immediately in verse 18 and 19 he saw the ram and the angel stopped him once he accepted to take off isaac from his heart not to hate him but to allow the lord once more to reign over all his heart and then love your son the lord told him take your son and even take in addition that this ram and in verse 18, he tells them, in your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. Once we accept to offer sacrifice, the one thing that we are lacking, we are not losing it. It's coming back in the case of Abraham with the ram. And in the case of this <clears throat> rich man, the Lord was promising him of a hundredfold. So I'm asking myself this morning, 
why I'm not answering the right question or asking the right question, thinking or seeking the wrong answer. Tell me anything except this one thing. And he's telling me and you, it is this one thing. So in Mark 10 today, the Lord was telling him, truly I tell you, Jesus replied, no one who has left home or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for me and the gospel will fail to receive a hundred times as much in this present age. So again, it's not only that I missed the uh, right uh, answer of the great question, I missed hundred folds. When you think of giving, it's not only about money. Giving my life, giving my thoughts, giving my career, giving everything to the Lord, that doesn't mean that I'm going to to stay at home, I'm not working. But I'm telling him, it is your work. I'm here to glorify your work and e your, your name in every single act in my life. And then he adds, homes, brothers, sisters, mother, children, and fields, along with persecution, and in the age to come, eternal life. You are coming from the beginning with one question, what I must do to inherit eternal life? And then, the answer was very simple. You lack one thing. I pray that all of us this morning, it's not about a regular liturgy, it's in the presence of the Holy Trinity. For the glory of the Holy Trinity, we are here to think <clears throat> and to dig deeper in our hearts and our minds. What is this one thing for me that I am lacking? It might hindering my way into eternal life. <clears throat> but one person asks the question in the opposite way. What must I do not to inherit eternal life? And the simple answer was, do nothing. Remain as you are. Come and listen to words and hear it and do nothing at all. In many occasions, we, when we examine ourselves, we found out that we heard many sermons, hundreds, even thousands of sermons. How many times you went out of <coughs> this sermon or this liturgy taking a decision serious one, I'm pursuing it. How many times I lack knowing or pursuing this one thing that is leading to eternal life. I believe that all of us has this illumination through the work of the Holy Spirit in the coming few minutes, because the time of the liturgy <coughs> is a very special time when the Holy Spirit is revealing to each one of us what we need to know. May the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you from now and forever and ever. Amen. Én szófélszibuszkom, én kérdélek, 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 én kérdélek